Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. I'm gonna be doing my 31 week pregnancy update. I am actually driving over to Eric's house and I just showered and I don't have makeup on and and all that fun stuff, but I figured it is better than not filming a video, which I haven't done in a while. Actually, I have filmed my pregnancy updates. I just haven't uploaded them because there was really nothing like interesting about them. And so I figured I would just drive and talk to you about what's happening and so I'm sorry I'm really thirsty and my lips are really dry so I'm just gonna be drinking some water and I hope that it doesn't bother you I will try my best to to take it out of the video okay so I guess I'll do like a pregnancy update and like just kind of like a life no not really like a life update but just here let's see that's actually a lot better. Okay, let's just kind of get around these potholes. So I'm 31 weeks pregnant. There still isn't like a ton of stuff happening. There are like minor things. Like I finally am starting to get that darker line under my belly button. Um, but because of how my belly is, it's under. So it's not like when you look at me, you don't fully see it. And it's not like a really thick, dark line. It's just, it's slowly getting there. I did have my, what was I, 29 weeks? No, I was 30 weeks pregnant. I believe this was maybe last week or maybe the week before that. I don't I don't quite remember, but I did do my, my glucose testing and everything was fine. I don't have gestational diabetes, but I am slightly anemic. So he did take, tell me to take some iron pills, which I just take with my regular prenatal pills. We still haven't started the nursery, which uh, it's coming, it's coming. But um, I do have a lot of like pieces that once it's ready, we can just put it all together and hopefully for the most part, everything will kind of be set. I am waiting till after my baby shower, which is this week and I'm really excited. I hope I can get some videos and some pictures and stuff like that. But I don't have a changing pad and I'm waiting for after the baby shower so I kind of know what I need and what I don't need to go in and use the 15% off or 15% registry coupon and stuff like that. I am registered at Target so it's not like I'm there every day and can't pick up you know what I need. I've started to really look into compiling a list of postpartum things for myself you know like the pad like pads and then like little um witch hazel like hemorrhoid wipes stuff like that you know things that'll make it a little bit easier i did procrastinate and i waited and something that i wanted went out of stock so i probably will have to wait till it either comes back in stock or i'll just get off of amazon and it was on sale so i'm really bummed out but that was just my fault um i'm trying to think I'm really really starting to feel her move like she's really starting to just like jab things I felt her like press against my pelvic bone I can't breathe because of how she's like pushing herself up and or kicking I don't I don't really know like how she's positioned he did like I'll try to insert the clip of my of my the Doppler and he was like you know if I was gonna outline this would be your kidney like your little girl is in the shape of a kidney being right here just kind of I don't know if it was top top or head up or bot head down or what but he was trying to figure it out and she was just moving too much for her to for him to really see As far as cravings, nothing, nothing too crazy. I feel like just anything refreshing, like watermelon and mangoes, and just it's hot here, and it's it's been really nice to have my air conditioning. But when I'm not and I'm sitting out in the rest of the house, it's just it's miserable. 
and so I'll probably end up taking off this long sleeve once I get to Eric's house but in my car I feel cold. Weight gain I think I've gained about 18 pounds which for my size I am 5'2 and my pre-pregnancy weight was about 105 so I'm at 123 right now. My weight gain is following a nice progression and so it's not compared to a lot of people it's not a lot but they are really happy with how I'm gaining weight I'm not losing anything I'm not you know I'm gaining it at a steady pace that fits my body and so I'm really happy I feel like I'm able to really move around a lot still I can still squat which is nice i don't feel like i'll have to leave work early but it's starting to become a little bit more uncomfortable i mean this entire pregnancy has been so incredibly easy and i'm starting to really um, not mourn but i'm starting to really feel i feel sad like i'm enjoying this pregnancy i love 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 this whole feeling of being able to feel her move inside of me and just getting to experience this with her and as I am way more excited to finally meet her and get to experience all of those things but I know that this chapter is coming to an end and it does make me kind of sad it does make me kind of you know I guess more in my pregnancy but I still have about nine weeks if she's on time and so you know or eight and a half weeks I guess but it's just crazy how fast this pregnancy has gone gone by um, my nails are growing are still growing really fast they're really not the greatest looking right now but you know my hair my nails are growing really nicely so that makes me happy I haven't experienced any hair loss yet I know that once I start to go through like the postpartum phase that I will and that's okay with me. I did go to a breastfeeding class this week and I kind of learned about what do they call it laid back breastfeeding and so I'm kind of it made, it made me kind of nervous just to kind of understand but I did feel a lot better really understanding like the mechanics of breastfeeding because for me understanding like knowing all the information makes something easier for me so I'm, I am a little nervous but I think that overall I'm really excited for the experience I just like I've never done anything like that obviously you know if you've never had a baby you've never breastfed so we'll just see she and I will work through it together and we'll really start to figure out our flow of things and I don't know I think I think I'm just anxious about it but well you know we'll work through it what else can I update you on with work uh, my doctor did say that he will without question pull me out a month early if I want and so that's kind of their thing they say if you want to get pulled out a month early before you know before my due date that's totally fine they'll just sign a thing and then I can submit it and I'm gone but I don't really feel the need to and how it works at Target they look at your average hours and right now mine is at like 38 hours which is really nice because that'll gauge how big my paychecks are which is what I kind of work now I work between 37 to 40 like 39 hours you know and so it's right in the middle obviously that's the average Oops. But, <coughs> and so I think that having my work hours up will be really nice I I mean it's tempting to want to leave early but for the position that I have it's a lot more complicated I, there's only three or four of us that can do one of the jobs and it's a really 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 important job so I don't want to leave them earlier than I have to um, because then they have to kind of figure out what to do and I know that that's not really I have to figure it out but you know I am really close with the two other girls that do our job so it just doesn't feel right to kind of leave them like high and dry but I mean if it gets to the point where it's uncomfortable because it's starting to get a little uncomfortable but nothing unbearable but I am feeling more of like that urge to pee when she kicks and 
I guess I never really had that before. And that she's starting to like, it's, you know, she gets, my stomach gets really hard and I can feel that she's like, I don't know, I don't know what she's doing in there, but I can feel like, just feel like she's like punching something or kicking it really hard. And so, and so, and so, and so, I said and so a billion times. What else? I haven't been doing a lot of exercising, but I do walk a lot, like during my work. I do walk a lot during, hold on, I haven't been exercising a lot, but I do walk a lot and I walk really fast at work. And so I'm constantly moving, squatting, you know, whenever those self-checkout machines need money, I'm bending down, I'm doing that. And so, and so, but, I mean, I feel limber. I mean, I definitely feel like I could be a little bit more flexible and I just have to stretch a little more, but overall, I don't, I feel good. I feel like I don't even look pregnant when you, everyone keeps telling me from the back I don't look pregnant. Like my weight gain, anything that, you know, any sort of weight that I've gained so far is all in my stomach. And it's really, I don't know, I feel like I have a cute little belly and I like it. I still fit into all my work uniforms and I haven't had to upgrade, you know, like move up to a bigger size and so I don't know, I'm kind of proud of it. I'm really happy. I don't have to worry about my postpartum weight loss too much. I'm pretty much just gonna hopefully lose a lot of it really quickly, but we'll see how that goes. I could gain all the weight in the very last two months of my pregnancy and if I do, you know what, that's all of part of making a home for my little girl okay let's see. you go i go we are planning a oh, look i love this i just want to show everyone my hawaii tumbler very proud of the state that i live in Okay, so we are gonna plan a Disney trip in February. We're gonna do the Disney, I'm not doing it. Eric's family and Eric will be doing the Princess Marathon or Half Marathon. So we're saving up for that, planning that. Logan will be about four months, um, a little less if she's later, a little, you know, maybe a little bit more if she's early, obviously. And kind of, I'm excited, you know, I think that so it'll be Eric's three siblings, his mom, Eric, and then me. So there's six adults. And so I I feel like we'll be okay. I feel like we'll be able to get through like all the joys of taking a newborn. Not a newborn, but you know, like a infant. About six, seven thousand miles away. Oh my gosh, that's so far. Is it six, seven thousand miles? I can't even remember. I feel like it's no yeah, about six, seven thousand. My brother used to actually live in Florida. I went to school in Massachusetts, so I went equally as far, just not as south. But I think overall, not much is happening. I'm really excited for my baby shower. Well, my brother is here, so he's gonna do some maternity pictures for me, and also some couple pictures with Eric, and I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. This is what I've always wanted. We really wanted to do Christmas pictures last year, and it just didn't work out the way that we wanted it to. So either the timing was wrong or my sister couldn't do it and when we wanted to do it there was just it was just a kind of a hot mess but this year we're gonna do it. my brother's a professional photographer and I'm excited I just have to kind of plan it out and figure out what to wear and I need to find a dress for my baby shower but oh I'm like this is like an exciting week there's not much happening at this point my doctor's appointments will be every two weeks and then I think by the end of the month or no maybe up in a month my doctor's appointments will be every week so i am i did take i did change my availability so i am going to be off a certain day every week that eric has off and we'll be able to do that and oh it's just getting so close like we're at the prime like the ending part of this pregnancy but there's still like there's still time you know it's just oh just we're really 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 excited eric turns 30 next month this is just a really, really fun time for us. 
I am when I stop driving obviously I'm not gonna show you my belly bump now but in a minute or so I'm gonna be at Eric's house and I'm gonna show you my belly and what has come of it it is so cute and I love it and like oh I just I love being pregnant it, this is like so, oh, I love being pregnant um, I said it probably sounds so weird and so cool but I will show you my belly bump and yeah I guess this is the end of this video I'm sorry that there wasn't a whole ton that's happening maybe more will happen next week I'm actually hoping that not a lot changes because right now it's awesome you know my skin's a little bit itchier than normal but I have no stretch marks I have no you know whatever but thank you for watching I hope that this wasn't too scattered for you or too crazy okay guys terrible angle don't show you my bump Like these on my layers. That's not even like the Audi part. It's just like a little like the inside of my belly button is flat, but it's just like this little piece of skin. Okay. Thanks for watching. Um okay, so I'm 31 weeks pregnant. Oh my goodness, my road is really, really, really bumpy.